Hey guys and gals, Chargers here, back quickly again in my Redstone world on Snapshot, or pre-release 2. And so, and Ice Brain 11 wanted to see these beacon discos I had running in the background. They were just something I made for fun, fun while uh, playing around with the hoppers. So, there's nothing really special here, I'm just using the stained glass to get the beacon color. And I have, in this version, I have four pistons, each of them offset by a tick, running on a four clock. Or, yeah, it's a four clock. I think. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. They're off time, so I've oh, I've done something right. It works. Don't worry about it. Clock's probably wrong, but so we go with this fire in sequence, one's unimpeded, one delay, two delay, three delay. Just gives you this color. You can put any colors begins one here, I thought though the top one seems to be preferred a lot. I see purple a lot while looking at this. Other one here was a probably much simpler design. It seems to give a better effect. Just using slime blocks and uh, thing, and the stained glass. Just moving them back and forth between two. You can see the white in there as they both uh, transit at the same time. That's when neither of the blocks are solid top of it. And this one's still the same. It runs on a two clock and has a one tick delay between the two pistons, which works out quite nicely because it's a pretty cool effect. And the tower here is just the ship. Just uh, using the. Bleh. I was experimenting around with this little bug here, where if you if they go off screen, boom, the end the part the towers disappear. It's kind of silly if you look above. So they're not if they're not in the visual thing. It's supposed to pr help performance with this. Yes, yeah, same thing. It's just supposed to help performance of stuff behind you, not rendering it. But it kind of breaks the beacons. <laughs> oh well. Anyway. It's just a quick video. This can be made so much smaller. This is just a play around. It was not funny. See you guys, see you guys uh, next time. Bye. Okay, I couldn't leave it at that. Here's a more compact version of this design. It was just way too massive, so I had to do something. Just a simple thing here. Same delays on everything. Maximum two ticks on a repeater to stop the pulse from getting weird. But. Instead of one, two, three, four, we now have one, two, three, four. Just to fit this, these repeaters in here easier, because it's easier to transfer power out with the, one of these, but repeaters make it too big. Yeah, and just fit the clock in here, because I could. Anyway, it's me, Mr. Truce. Have a nice day.